We are here with South Sevian who finished uh, his day with two points out of three. Sam, how are you feeling? And tell us about your thoughts and feelings, you know, emotions after the first day. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good overall. There's some really interesting positions today. I mean, a lot of these positions are really difficult to play with white because black just starts copying and um, I think two or three of the games, mm -hmm. the copying was the best way of playing and, you know, got some good positions with black. Uh, yeah, this last game I had good winning chances, but Sam complicated it enough to, you know, make yeah. it really interesting. It got very uh, complex and also I saw you analyzing with many uh, players together before the rounds. Which one was, who was your favorite and which position was your favorite from today? Uh, I usually work with Shanklin in 960. I did yeah. it last year, so we decided to do the same thing this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously I was playing him in round three, so I could do it <laughs> with a new group. Uh, I mean, everyone has interesting ideas, so uh, I have to analyze with more people to find out. And for the position, I mean, the second position I really liked because uh, there was always this interesting Queen H6 check idea or mm -hmm. Queen H3 for white, so immediate tactics. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling playing Fisher Random Chess after a long tournament like US Chess Championships? Is it uh, better for you or would you still prefer to play more seriously with opening preparation? And also, how did you recover for this tournament? I mean, I definitely enjoyed this more, I mean, especially when it's 12 o'clock and I don't have to sit and <laughs> check lines for hours. So uh, this is a really fun format and I think everyone's trying their best here. Thank you, Sam, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Now, let's go back to the studio. Thank you, Begum. Indeed, our congratulations to you, Sam.